We are live now. Guys, you always wanted to ask a lot of questions. So how about you shoot a few? Mm -hmm. Okay, just pick one, right? So I think fire. Okay, let's first let, I tell you how we do no, it. Let's, okay. let's let's make introductions. I'm Arjun. Hi, I, I'm Sunil. Hi. Sunil. Yeah, hi Arjun, hi Chitangna, hi Sunil. Your name, your name is Sunil? Yes, yeah, Sunil. Sunil Narayani. Yeah, Sunil Narayani. Right. Yeah. And you and now? Next? I am hi, guys. That's <laughs> Rahul. Okay, that's fire. Fire. Coming. Param para. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Dakshin. Dakshin. And Shweta. Shweta. And I'm Venetia. And Venetia. Lovely. Yeah. So now we'll start with uh, Sunit. 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 Hi. Um, so, so firstly, I would like to uh, give the girls the chance. Ladies first. Let's start off the conversation in a nice manner. Any <laughs> any any girl can ask the question first. Okay. You know, Trey. Shweta. Shweta. Okay. Um, so, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. I'm a bit hungover. That's why I got my shades. <laughs> <laughs> Coming back to life. And it's a night. And Arjun, you think this is a nightclub now? The things are back to last night. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of recovering. We actually showed the film yesterday to a lot of my friends. Oh, okay. Uh, it was actually. They loved it. Kind of uh, screening. Yeah, they did. They do you read their tweets soon? Uh, I, I I did read a few. I yeah. think the uh, pretty. Yeah. Uh, quite a bit Suzanne Roshan. Yeah, Suzanne and Ritik is uh, done it. Uh, yeah. Ritesh Sidwani. I think Faran is on a tweet. Faran, yeah. Has he tweeted? I don't know. I haven't read Faran. Yeah, he did. Yes, yes, he did. So all all my buddies have seen it, and that was like very nerve wracking for all of us. <laughs> They're brutally honest people, and sometimes you shouldn't be. Uh, <laughs> uh, I know. <laughs> Please be honest. I don't think we should. Yeah, yeah. But uh, honest, they yeah. said some really wonderful things, and yeah, very proud of the film. So I saw the first copy for the first time as well yesterday. Okay. Oh, that's great. So, so some yeah. questions. I yeah. said we were to celebrate, and uh, that's why I'm in this condition. <laughs> yeah, <all right>. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies, you can start yeah. with the questions. Yep. You ask Paro now. Paro. 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 Sorry. Paro. Paro. Oh, hi guys. First of all, let me tell you, you guys look stunning. Thank you. And the trailers look very good. I'm definitely going to going to watch your movie. Thank you. And my question for you is, um, which is the uh, which is your favorite song from the movie? Paro. Can you guys hear me? Uh, I like. Uh, Paula, I really like that song. Uh, and what about you, Arjun? Uh, yeah, I like that one, but uh, I I really like the title song of Inkar. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, and I, I like Darmia. Uh, yeah, I really like Darmia. Darmia, yeah. Yeah. Darmia, yeah. yeah. Song really work yeah. in the film, you know. Yeah. They, uh, yeah, they, I really like that song. Yeah. yeah. This is my favorite. I think what's nice about it is that you can listen to all of it. Yeah. I love sense. all the songs. Actually. I like the album. Yeah, great. Anybody else? Yeah, I, I <laughs> think. Yeah, okay. sure. yeah. Uh, I love your hair, Chitranga. Oh, oh, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> my hair. <laughs> I, I work much harder on my hair than these Trust two me. men. Yeah. No one. <laughs> He's not. <Okay>. <laughs> Uh, so my question is, it's just a very generic question, okay, like to know your point of view. Um, okay, in a situation, if a female asks her male colleague to go out for drinks uh, after work, so does it show a sign of flirting or is it just a casual drink out meeting? What do you feel? Hmm. It may be the beginning or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I mean you start, you start and go out for a drink, then take it from there. 
That's totally fine. I think it's very cool. In fact, if a woman that does that as a guy, I would think that's really cool. Yeah. Who's smiling so much? I don't know. So who wants to buy me? Lovely <laughs> <laughs> <the> idea. <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm glad you gave that answer because uh, even I believe that it's. I think it's damn cool nowadays to just ask for a drink. No, but 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 I have a question here. So yeah. uh, so the girl is asking a guy for a drink. Okay, after work. But how about this? So a guy asks a girl for a drink, which usually happens. Yeah. But but if there's a promotion coming up, in that situation, are things the same? A promotion coming? Who's getting promoted? The girl. The girl. The girl is getting promoted. Yes, the guy is yes. the boss. Yes. Yes. The guy is the boss. If you buy your drink. Yes. No. Is is the dynamic same in that case? Why not? I I don't think one should come to very easy conclusions. Yeah, how can you always presume? I don't think you should presume. But अगर ऐसा कुछ लगता है, I didn't presume anything. I'm asking you. Maybe she should go out for a drink at that time. Yeah. She should. You know, maybe she should go out after she got guess promoted. Yeah. Why? 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 In that situation, and see, I I always believe that every action has a reaction. Okay, and whatever you do, if you go for that drink or you don't go for that drink, there will be a reaction to it. Okay, yeah, you have to be wary of that. Now, if you're feeling in this work environment, you're going out with this guy, and I'm going to have this drink, and tomorrow I'm going to get promoted, and tongues will wag, and they will say, oh, you know, yeah, that was the that reason why. Then you be wary of it, and you say, "Listen, let's not have it today. Let me get promoted." I mean, if you get promoted, as the girls say, "Come on, today, let me buy you that drink." You know. Right. Okay. Yeah. So the dynamics are clear, and you don't create any confusion. If uh, because it can get, you know, it can be very confusing. I agree with you. Johnson. Yes, Johnson. it's a good question. Okay. Parampara, do you have any questions? Yes, yes, yes. I want to ask: Are there any parts in the film which resemble your uh, real life experiences? Mine? Yeah. In fact, both of yours. Real life experiences only. <laughs> As in, have you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I've mean, I, never got, gone through sexual harassment or have been accused of it. So, um, I, I don't, I, I don't know. But in fact that's why the casting you yeah. don't look like a guy only for Harris and he keep the you know ambiguity of it yeah <laughs> so really no i uh, i have not experienced it but uh, but anybody anybody around you maybe no i have not met anybody also who's really told me oh this is what i said and this is how i did it and you know and even if it was a harassing was not ready to confide in me So I'm not very honest. Yeah, my research on this film was very wow. We just had mm -hmm. imagined in our heads how it would. Right. Okay. Um, can I ask a question? Yeah, sure, man. Okay. Uh, my question to all all of you: uh, What is the most cheesiest pickup line uh, someone has used to impress you guys? Starting with Chitrangda. Cheesiest. Yeah. Uh, I I was uh, I landed at the Mumbai airport, okay, and then there was this guy who was on my flight, and he was just trying to be friendly, and so then I was waiting for my baggage, and this guy came along, <coughs> you know, doing up. Uh, where are you from? Very informal. Mm -hmm. Just general conversation, and then he's like, uh, um, "Can I drop you home?" And I said, "No, I'm fine." He says, "No, let me drop you home." No. What did he say? He says, "Do you have a drop home?" I said no. Uh, I'm okay. I've got a drop. Said, yeah, but uh, I've got a Porsche. So <laughs> that was really funny. That game. It was 
I thought I just kept looking at his face. Because do you have a drop home? I was like, yeah, I have my driver coming. I'm looking. So, but I got a Porsche. I was like, yeah, I, I definitely don't have a Porsche, but I do have a driver waiting. But that was yeah. Now I can think of it, but I think that was really funny. Yeah. Ajay, who else tried to pick me up? That's funny. Yeah. Please, somebody try it. Why don't you give us one? Come on, somebody. If I'm sitting here, come on, you girls have to try it. Come on. I don't think I have to choose a very cheesy pickup line, but I think you're too hot to go out with. Why not? Uh, Sudhir sir, your experience, well, anyone has... You. Well, are you in? I haven't seen any of your films, but I think you're a fantastic <laughs> <laughs> But like, I remember this one conversation I had, I mean, it happens, where you know, you're on a flight, especially on a plane, you know, you meet random people and um, they want to start a conversation. Mm -hmm. First thing they say, um, going to Delhi? Okay, I'd like to ask you, uh, I've always wondered this, that uh, if you, be because you are stars, okay, uh, uh, would you be uh, lesser affected by sexual harassment, like people would, wouldn't really do that with you compared to the newbies in the industry, in the film industry? When you get senior, you start harassing. When you're junior, you get harassed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I, I don't think that happens, no? Okay. You know, sex, allow, really. I'll tell you, I mean, I, a uh, lot of perception goes up. It's all perception, right? So, right. Uh, okay. perception is all about the film industry and that it would be like, you know, a place where, you know, people would sleep around with each other, they'd be very open-minded with regards to sex or for work and all of that. But I'll tell you, it depends I have heard. I must have seen, like, about three such people who are inclined towards that and they come from okay. a different Generation. Our generation of actors and directors, mm -hmm. and they, they, they are very educated people, okay? they are very professional people, okay? they look at their jobs in a very, very systematic, tight, you know, professional manner and are concentrating more on getting the job done rather than sleeping with somebody. If they want to sleep with somebody okay, and they are single and they want to do it, they will do it but they won't make a shosha about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. They do it in a civilized, dignified manner. I mean, I don't think this thing really exists amongst us because we all respect women a lot. At least the kind of guys I, I don't have any respect. Otherwise, that person would not be my friend. Mm, that's true. For me, I don't. Know. Yeah, most most directors today, the younger lot especially, but even I mean, even people like. Uh, the Shekhar Kapoor, you know, Chopra, yeah. you know, I mean, there's, there's Mayesh Bhatt, you know, yeah. Javed Akhtar, I mean, there's, there's so many people in, in the industry, most of the guys who actually do work, who, who, who are actually in the film industry, because there are a lot of people who claim to be in the industry. Yeah, so, that's true. The, the, the actually work, I don't think any director will, 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 will cast like that because, you know, I mean, up, it's up there on the screen, and, you know, and the audience doesn't, you know, buy that. I mean, if you, you like somebody, the audience doesn't give a hope. Yeah. Mm. You know, they, they, every director, good director is first in love with films. So the first muse is always cinema. Mm -hmm. okay. The full. <laughs> I have a feeling that things don't happen, huh? Rafool, <laughs> huh? can you hear us? Raful, your mic's off. Raful, if you have any questions, uh, what you can do is you can put it on a piece of paper and you can. He's just laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Action now. Start writing. 
Who's who's the other one? Yeah, Param Param. Okay. Um, women are uh, proven to be more uh, emotional about their job. Do you think that's a major dis disadvantage for them? Good question. Good question. Do you think so? Well, um, no. Uh, do you what do you do, Param Param? I'm a student. Oh. Yes, you don't go to work. I think yes. I think uh, that does become a bit of a problem because we are biologically very emotional kind of people, and uh, which is fine, which is great. But I think when you're in a very professional setup, it maybe it's a good idea to hold on to your emotions and use your logical end of your brain to make all your calls and your decisions. And yeah, you have to find that little button in you where you can switch off. See what happens. I'll tell you one thing, okay? And this is my experience from all the people that I work. Um, everybody is emotional. A man's emotional. A woman's emotional. Okay? How you react emotionally is how those people are also going to react towards you emotionally. Okay? So if you have a violent outburst, for example, or an aggressive outburst, or you know you, you are like that, then people will also react to you like that. Don't think that they're going to be the Gandhis who are going to turn the other cheek. Okay, like you might have a Gandhi will turn the other cheek. So it, each one will react differently to different situations depending how you are, the energy you also give out. So when you come to a professional place and to a place to work, I think the most important thing to do is to keep your emotion in check. Okay, it's 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 important because then you will get into a conversation. You'll be able to discuss. You will be able to iron out things. Rather than getting it into a more heated kind of a space, okay, if you get over exaggerated and you know your emotional uh, drive takes, or you get over excited or whatever. So to avoid misunderstandings, I would say keep your emotions in check. Yeah, I just want I disagree. I disagree. Clarity of thought. Yeah, that you can't say that men are as emotional. I think I'm saying every. I'm not saying as. I never said. Everybody is emotional. You push a button in me. Maybe I like it. I dislike it. How it will react? You do not know. Because you don't know me. But I'm going through emotional. Okay. A man could show that he is going through nothing, through his state of uh, place of work. So he could be going through a hell of a lot of things in his head. Okay. And in his heart, emotionally. Okay. But when he's coming to work, he puts that aside. When I go to work on a set, what is happening happening in my house, I don't take it to the set, and what is happening on my set, I don't bring it onto my home. You know, you. you Sorry. As the button that you have to find, what do you say? You don't take it. Right. Hello. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Oh. I'm Lovely. Good. I'm good. Uh, Acha, I wanted to ask uh, Sudhi sir a question. Uh, by the way, your hair is looking really amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I wanted to ask you. I wanted to ask you uh, as a director. Uh, you know, you have assistant directors on you uh, who manage all the work. They manage a lot of people on set, everything. What do you feel a female is a better assistant director or a male? No, I've had uh, two equally, I mean, two of the best assistants I've ever had was a boy yes. called, uh, a filmmaker now called Nikhil Adwani, uh, who's perhaps one of the best. <laughs> People on a set I've ever seen, and there was a girl called Ruchi Narayan, and uh, you know, uh, she was fantastic. She handled, you know, uh, and this is a far more difficult thing than on that. So, I mean, it's, it depends on the man and the woman. If the more people be good, except that people took all the people that she Ruchi tried to control. Uh, you know, they were really offended if, uh, if if he was a little hard, uh, yes. uh, and to get some kind of force kind of thing. Which he tried to enforce that people got more offended than when Nikhil tried to enforce that. So, I mean, sometimes you know, you people find it difficult to 
I was going to do it all. And then, then they called her, you know, she's too hard and you know, she lost us. Look at the female as a female. She had a job to do, you know, and she was doing it rather well. Quite a pretty woman who was otherwise very feminine. But don't you think the convincing convincing power of a female is much better than who is sitting next to a crow? Do I think what? Uh, do you think? Don't you think the convincing power, the way a female convinces people, is much better than how a male does? I, I mean, it, it, dep it depends. I mean, if, if you get convinced by other things than logic. <laughs> you know, I mean, woman can convince you easier when you are not actually convinced. Maybe right. Maybe you're a man, but you know, otherwise, you know, at, at the present moment, all things being equal, depends on the man and the woman. I mean, both anybody can. But do you all think everything is equal? No, well, actually, yes. uh, no, no, I don't think everything is equal. I think it all more depends on the situation or a person is in. So, so for example, Chitrangra, I have a question for you. Hello? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? I can, I can. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, suppose you have a colleague, you both are at the same level at work, and uh, you are born smart, you have brains, and you're beautiful. And the other, uh, your colleague, she is not in that same league, but uh, since you are a person who follows principles, and for you, culture and principle is very important. And for her, going out of it is fine. And again, I'm coming back to the, the same thing. Uh, you both are the same level, but for her to grow in the company, she can go and do things which you cannot. And you see that happen. What's your take on that? Have you seen that happen? You mean to say, uh, there's she no sticks girl. around to get to you the get top and you can't do it. You can't do it and you yeah, because you, you are principal, you have your own principles in mind and you want to stick to that. Yeah, uh, see, obviously you feel like you've got a raw end of the deal and you feel like it's not fair. But mm -hmm. you can go on crying over it or feeling bad about it. But I think, uh, that, I think that, that's the point where you really need to... Uh, See, see, when you are in a comfortable position or a situation, you know, you feel that it's easier to uh, hold on to your ideals or your morals and it's, it's almost like a um, luxury. But it's when the things get tough is when you are actually tested, you know. That is the point, I mean, that is actually the point where you really need to hold on to them and that is, you know, when you can see that you have principles that you follow. I think till the time when it's comfortable, it's comfortable. Say, I am honest. It's only till the point that you are tempted that you could get dishonest, and you don't. I think that's the point. So, yeah, I mean, I would say that would be a big test for me, and um, you do it or you don't do it, and take a call and see what happens. How about you, Arjun? What's your view on that? You no, know, anybody who sleeps to get anywhere, there are no shortcuts to success. That's my belief. You sometimes know, it and happen. and uh, whatever, however you've gotten there. Mm -hmm. A person told me something really interesting. Okay, he said, everybody will go up. Okay, and that's what you call success when you rise and you go up. It's how you go up. Okay, mm -hmm. because you can't uh, go against gravity. Because everybody, when they go up, they will also be coming down. And when you come down, that's your, when you, you will meet the same people along the way. Yeah. You know, so if you step on people who go up, Okay, when you are coming down, you're going to meet the same people. They will just give you a full crash landing. Yeah, I think okay. That is or some certain people will just uh, because if you have respectability, and that's what you are asking in that Correct. Question, Correct. They will always cushion you. You will not even know that you're coming down. You know what I mean? You will always be there. You will always be respected. And I don't think anything can be more important. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, and I, think, you know, I mean, the reason why I am not scared of my career at all is because there were 25 young directors who would produce my work. Because when I went up, yeah, they were all there, and I, they worked with me, and and yeah. we treated them with respect, and you know. So now I go to Anurag Kashyap's office. Before that, he's come to mine. 
Today I wanted to produce Anurag's film. Today he wants to produce mine. Nikhil Advani was my assistant. He wants to produce my film. Why? If I treated him really badly, if I kicked him around, if I, back, I mean, if I did bad by him, he would like, like to forget me. Like to forget that assistant. He said, why, what did he say? He said, I finally want to give you a production worthy of you. Correct. That's what he says. So why? So give respect and take respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So really, Respectability is the most important thing. Okay. It's not. It's not respect. It's human. Yeah. It's like human being. Yeah. It's not respect. That's too condescending. Correct. You know, it's I know, I know people of uh, not such great moral. I'm not saying the bad people, but like the moral values are not what society thinks or claims as good or you know bad, but. Um, I've seen those people grow really fast and rapidly to a certain point, <coughs> but I have never seen them happy. Never. No. You know, I just there is something you they feel like you like you. There's something missing. Hold your soul. You know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, you, there, there is that. Gap, dirty man. You know, dirty. there is something there. There's something amiss. You could have all the wealth. You could have everything, but if you don't have happiness and you don't feel proud of achieving that. Okay, then what's the point? Correct, because every morning you see yourself in a mirror, and then that's what you see. You are so. Exactly, you know, so it catches. You can you can lie to the world. Can you lie to yourself? How much are you gonna catch up with? True. You? You know? Thank you. Thank you. And end is yeah. really bad of these people. You know? the end. Oh. When you come to the end, because you'll come to the end of a career, right? You 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 that point. It'll be terrible. So, okay, uh, guys, can someone ask? Just yeah, it's getting very serious. I just want to say that you know you talked to that girl who probably sleep her way up. I think somewhere at some point, like you know, they said she would definitely feel that she has violated herself. You know, and when you violated yourself to a point, and even though you sit there and you probably whatever to comfy and the door shuts and you're sitting on the couch, you will know that you violated yourself so many times to get there. So I don't know how much that counts for success, really. No, no. So I mean, and and everybody, all of us. For example, Arjun has been around for ten years, twelve years, and he's got it hard. You know, he's taken the hard way. But look at where he's going. You see the trajectory, and he doesn't. You know, and and what is the trajectory based on? Work, talent, based on skills, based on acumen of different things. But it's all based on himself. Look, then, then you know, these kind of people when they will. All down, they have a lot of cushions because they respect themselves. Yeah. They, you have a, your own cushion. You can do many things. You are happy with with that. You know, you're not scared of anyone. You don't think. Otherwise, the other kind of guy is petrified. Supposing the sugar daddy goes away, what happens? Correct. You know what happens? You, you know, and if everything is a manipulation, mm -hmm. you know how much you're going to keep doing it. And finally, you will not always be in a position of that kind of power where you can con con continuously misuse it. Mm. Hold on to your power. You know, why do you misuse it to hold on to that power? Do not let go of it because you get so attached to it. And um, those kind of people they have little less power. You can see how everybody turns. The people who are the people who are around you, and you think these are your friends, you surrounded them with. They will be the first person. To leave. I've seen this happen. So many people. So many people within my industry and outside industries. Yeah, yeah. Especially in the industry, it'll happen in a lot. Industry. Yeah, yeah, it'll happen a lot. You keep too many people. I mean, and I've seen people who are very good and have helped other people and have gone up because of respect. When they're coming down, there's a lot of pushing. There's a lot of people. No, no, no. Give this guy a break. He's very good. A lot of actors, directors say he's very good. So let's help him. Because you're not. There's goodwill. There's goodwill. On goodwill. Thank you. Not feeling too well, our girls especially. No, um, no, is there anything? Fine. Is there anything that you want to say to him to make him? Yeah. The whole conversation is so serious, but I wanted to ask something to Arjun. Yeah. Uh, okay. Whom do you think is more romantic, men or women? <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> I can speak uh, for all the men I've dated and uh, <laughs> uh, a lot more romantic. I'd rather hang out with them. <laughs> uh, but um, uh, I think um, men are, you can find really romantic men. Yeah. Okay, if you're talking about uh, men being romantic... Let me put it this way. Yeah. I think from the most romantic woman yeah. versus the most romantic man, I would give my vote to the most... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Men, you know, I mean, in this respect, they get heartbroken far more easily. No. Break far more... Yeah. You see, like Sudhir and me. Oh no! If you're saying that you're more romantic, Arjun, um, I want to test that. Okay, so if you wanted to dedicate a song to me right now, what would it, what would it be? What did you say? I said, if you want to dedicate a song to me right now. Because you hardly know me, but you can see me. So, uh, what would it be? I would sing a song to you from uh, The Doors. Okay, which one? Before you slip into unconsciousness, I would <laughs> like to have another kiss. Another kiss. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> no, really, do you think? Do you think there is a thing called as perfect men or romantic yeah, really well. men really in this world? Well. Things really well. No, um, a romantic song, which you can sing. Yes, please. There's a beautiful song by um, John Mayer. Um, Dancing in a burning room. I think that's the new one. It's uh, I don't know how it works, but that would be the song that I would do. Dancing in a burning room. Yeah, it's good. Sounds like Sati. No, it's about just how lost you are with each other. <laughs> Come on. Man. So as Arjun mentioned, you can sing. Could you sing a line from that song? I see. Most romantic woman versus most romantic man. I agree. Women are a little more, you know, uh, you know what's the nicest part about romance? What? Yeah. You can surprise. Yeah. You know, I, I love a relationship when you surprising me. You know, because you really are thinking then for that person and that you want to see that person's one reaction. And that's why you create a surprise. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and I feel uh, all good relationships. If, if you want to be in a really good, healthy relationship, you should always work on trying to think, what would this person really like? What can I do for them? You know, I can see that one smile, or you know, they will feel or make them feel in a pretty. What you actually do? I don't, I don't know. I mean, at 18, it's the class, no? Yeah. The word. <laughs> there is the burning room. That's <laughs> 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 well actually. Yeah. That's well put. Actually. Guys, we'll wrap up in two minutes. So, last whatever your questions are, of anything you want to tell them. Vinisha. No. I'll ask the question. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, just uh, I was wondering that uh, have the romantic movies raised 
the bar for romance for guys and they have to you know really work up to that level because the girls are like oh my god she was shahrukh khan did in that movie something like that it's a magic movie it's so unfair to yeah you know <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 B